Hello and welcome back to Building with Ubiquly. Well, my dog's just gotten up because I talked so loud. But yeah, as you can see behind me, this is the database we built last episode. And uh, the first thing I should probably do is harvest my crops. Okay, seriously though, the first thing I should probably do is show you that I've actually done an interior. I know it's pretty crazy. I couldn't believe in myself either. But let me just quickly eat up and watch this. Are you ready? Yeah, this looks pretty cool. There you go. So I added some signs and random decoration all over the place. As you can see, this back wall here, not back wall, side wall here is my storage system. That's the word. It's got a crafting table down here hidden away and um, a crafting table up here with a smelting wall um, and some extra storage next to my bed, which is right. I relocated here. Um, and of course, Messy storage. Anyway, here's uh, just a table I added because there was there was some space, open space here. I still don't know what to do with this space here, and I don't know what to do with this. Um, everything else has a spot now. So the next thing I want to do is to get some villagers. Yes, that's right. Last episode I told you, I might have told you, I don't know if I did tell, tell you. Um, but there is a village off in this direction, let me just go show you. It might not have been this direction. Yeah, so I think I got it wrong. Village, my house is just up there, the village is in this direction. Um, but, anyway, if you, it's just, it's not too, meant too far away actually, it's only like, 100 blocks, 200 blocks away. Yes, I see in the distance right there, there's a village. And sheep I sheared for my bed. Nice, it was just becoming nighttime as well, so I get back to sleep now. But anyway, yes, this is the village that I was talking about. So I'm probably gonna yoink a few villages from here, maybe just two. There is nice, a nice little river that actually leads almost back to our base, so it goes along here. And then there's the start of the mountain right there. So what I'm probably going to do is prepare a path for the villagers to boat down and up into my base. And I'll be back to you in a second. Okay, this should be enough for the boat to get through. Let's give it a try. And yes, just okay. If we go through here, we should be able to see the mountain popping into view. Yep, there it is. Uh, I'm probably going to have to lead them over land, and that's going to be a pain, but through the power of editing... And I did it! Hopefully if this guy can actually learn to jump over this bush, but we've got our first villager, that's one down, one to go. And there we have it, we did it, there's a villager here in this boat, there's a villager down there in this boat, don't worry about their bottom halves of their bodies, it's just a shaded glitch I think. But, yes, we have actually got two villagers in the right spot, let me just quickly do this because I want to. Um, anyway, uh, let's set up a little spot for them to be, and uh, I think we should be ready. Okay, we've got this nice little room set up. I just need to chuck a trap door on the front so that we can get in, but the villagers cannot. Okay, to get the villagers into this little home here, what I'm gonna do is put down some composters as a workstation and break the boat, and hopefully we can pathfind straight into there. I said st straight, come on, you, you can move. Yes, nice, let's go, he's in. Now to get the other one. Yes, 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 please, yes. Okay, 
No, don't walk out there. Now we'll just break this down and we got two villages and we'll do the next part of this plan. Now obviously if you know Minecraft, villagers need a, needs beds to breed and make more babies. So what I'm going to do is make a string farm. But you might be wondering, you have nothing. It's going to take ages to make a string farm. Well, the technical Minecraft community strikes again. Uh, the Ch I think it was the Chinese technical community actually who made a really cool thing. How do you make a tripwire hook? Let's just put it down here for now. I don't know if we're gonna. We're probably gonna move it eventually, but we'll just chuck it in here for now. So. This is a, I guess, glitch. Yeah, it's definitely a glitch, I think. A string duplication glitch. The only reason I am willing to do this is because, well, this is my world. I can do what I want. And you just, you guys have to do, you have to agree with me. No, that's not the reason. It's because this one is about building. I don't want to spend time making massive farms just because, just because we need a little bit of string. Um, if you didn't know, if you didn't put this together already, string can make a string. You using string, you can make wool. I think, yes. Using string, you can make wool, and we need wool for our beds for those for the villages. So, okay. So this is editing me. Uh, I may have forgot to record, and uh, now we have a whole path for a market plan and everything but yeah you'll see I might explain in the next clip I don't know yet uh, but yeah let's go back I may or may not have gone to the nether yeah I went to the nether I've been to the nether yeah uh, yeah I know this was this wasn't a great spawn but I mean I've been here now I can grab some soul sand which I actually forgot to do last time um, now we can make our skeleton spawner bubbly but before we do that, let me show you what else I've done. Um, I've I've got a whole bunch of resources, as you can see, those barrels down here. I've got a whole bunch of wood and a whole bunch of cobblestone and a, not a bunch of moss. Well, yes, a bunch of moss because I've actually gone and made a moss farm. Yeah, I know this isn't obviously this one isn't the fastest moss. Moss farm ever. This is a moss farm designed by Snoo Crash. So yeah, link in the description. And now, if we grab all of this moss, we should have enough stuff. To begin building our thingamabob. Here's the idea for it. Um, I'm gonna make a little market square, uh, and I've even got uh, an AI Dali 2, I think is how you pronounce it, to generate some concept art. So here you go. Whoop, I put them on the, I'm, they're probably over the screen right now, or, or I might have forgotten, I don't know, but yeah, concept art, and um, that's the sort of thing I'm going to be building, so yeah. Um, okay, so I didn't go building straight after that clip, if, for those of you who have realised, my levels have now gone down to 11, and uh, that's because... I did some enchanting and some more villages, but then now my tools are better. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go and uh, actually no time lapse, and I will no time lapse yet, and I will show you what I'm gonna do for this build. So first, um, if you, I've actually used this strategy, and it's based off of fences and trap doors. I might add some banners in here as well if I if I want to, but. Basically, say we want to make like a wall or a roof, right? So say we have a building, this incredible building. Uh, that's right here. Incredible, like perf top tier building right here. But say we wanted to put a like a, a sort of wall here. Um, but we want to keep it looking like. It's just thrown together with a bunch of random resources, like whatever you can find, like bits of bits of everything, bits of like broken down planks and stuff. Well, we can try. Let's build a wall, so uh, a roof, right? So this is the wall that we have to build. It's sort of like a diagonal, not but not quite straight diagonal. 
just to make it look even more thrown together. But say we want to fill in this wall. Um, this is how I would. This is how I'm making it look a bit more worn down. So I'm just chucking some random fence posts around the place. Let's put one there. Actually, yeah, put one there. And on these fence posts, once I get a few more, just all over the place like this. I'm going to put some trap doors on it. Let me just uh, let's go here. that. I'm gonna put some trap doors on it. Does this look like it's trying to be covered up by some planks of wood? And I might even try using some stairs and slabs just to make it look a bit more worn down and give it a bit more detail. But now we have a wall that you actually can't walk through. Um, no matter where you go, but it still it acts sort of as like some natural light. You might put some banners as cloth, like you're hanging up some washing or something. But yeah, this is the kind of look we're going for, like over there. Um, for the roof, what I'm going to do is if it's next to a mountain, if I go up here, I'll show you what I've done for this one. So there is moss above these trap doors. And I've just thrown some trapdoors and or random orientations connected to the walls to make it look like it's being like held up by something. It's just the landscape on, on top being held up by some wood. Yeah, I'm mainly using wood, a bit of stone, because that's you, sort of the stuff that you would think is mainly used in a build like this. Uh, well, also, I don't actually have a plan for what building goes where, so let's let's actually go do that now. So, we got some signs. Okay, so this in the middle is going to be the, the Market Central. I don't know what you call that, but that's the Market Central. Um, we're going to pro probably put some sort of statue here that represents this town. But, I've actually I have had planned one, but, uh, but I haven't put a sign down yet. Um, but... Behind this rock is going to be librarians. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to carve a nice little like hobbit hole out of this mountain and put the librarians here, maybe add a little like path along here, like off the bridge onto this bit. But yeah, uh, I'm going to have the armor smiths. Let's have the let's have the armor smiths in one spot and the tools and weapons in the other one. So let's put the armor smith Let's go, let's go here. They're called armorers, aren't they? Yeah, armorers there. Um, and toolsmith uh, slash weaponsmith there because they're a bit more similar to each other. Fletchers are up there. I'm gonna have some butchers and farmers maybe. Um, let's put the butchers and farmers in this spot and over here. So they'll have like two, two areas here. Bush is probably gonna go here. So let's and the farm! Oh yeah, so last episode I mentioned that we're probably going to put some sort of farming area over on this hill because it looks quite nice. But, yeah, so I'm going to put the farmers here and butchers here. And there's going to be a nice little pond there, so I'm going to leave that. And let's see, what should we put here? What other villages do we have? Hang on, I know what I want. I want some masons, stone masons. Mason. So the stone masons are gonna go here. It's sort of similar to armorers and stuff, I guess, if you think about it. So they're gonna go sort of close to them. We're probably gonna put some sort of garden or tree thing here, or something like that. I don't know what to put here yet, but um, I think that's it. We'll figure out what to fill in these smaller areas once we get to it. But that is the plan. Let's get into the time lapse. Okay, we have got the librarian's cave thingy done. Now, I haven't made the path yet, so this is what happened. 
this is how we're gonna get up to it. But it looks ex it looks actually really cool. Not not from the outside. The outside it looks pretty ordinary. But if you head inside, we have this little top trapdoor thing so that the villagers can't fit out, but we can. Um, and if we open the doors, the doors will close. And we have this nice little path that sort of goes off into the ground a little bit. We have some uh, cave vines or glowberries as lighting. Obviously, one of these things here. Uh, some drip, uh, some big drip leaf around the place, just to add a little bit more variation to the plants. And if you keep going around this way, it actually extends off into this area. Now, I have, if you look in this area, I've actually got like little bits of wood here. I have, I think I forgot to do that over here, but yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. But yeah, this is the whole idea. Um, for the library, now let's move on to the other places. There it is. There's the Armorsmith's place. Um, I've got <laughs> that thing. We're trying to get this guy in here. But yeah, he's in here now. Uh, he's got all our trades. Ow, the door just closed in my face. But yeah, this is the nice uh, nice little area I've got here. This is supposed to be closed. Um, but yeah, this is his blast furnace. This is his workstation. Anyway, yeah, this is this is what his place looks like. It's pretty cozy, but yeah, um, if we go out this door though, we have... Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I was planning for this design here for his lava bit, but I did something. I'm probably going to need to improve it soon. But as you can see up here, he's got his thrown together fence trying to hold the landscape up. I had to do some pretty crazy... Uh, mob proofing and a uh, villager run uh, escape proofing so he can't just walk off and out of this area um, I don't think I can either no I can but he won't make that parkour jump but anyway it's also mob proof from the outside so no mobs can get in uh, except for through this gate um, yeah if you I'm pretty sure it is at least I really hope it is but yeah I'm pretty sure mobs can't do that jump right. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that there just in case they can. You never know. I don't want this villager to die because I'm not going to get another one back in here. And um, the cool thing about this is that that smoke is actually coming from the campfire that is underneath this blast furnace right here. There's a campfire there with a hay bale. Let me see if I can see it. Yep, there we go. There's a there's a hay bale underneath there. Uh, what that does, it makes the smoke go a lot higher, so the smoke from this campfire actually goes all the way through the chimney and up the top, which is kind of cool, I didn't want to add another campfire at the top, and it's got a nice distance past that. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty nice little area, uh, of course I've got the trap doors here, because the villagers can't fit underneath them, and uh, yeah, that's what I've got so far, let's probably remove this villager transportation thing but yeah this that is the end of this episode this is a really weird view and i think i missed a few blocks hang on but yeah that's all i have time for this episode but wait what what